bringing back the, I was going to say cooking series. I don't know who the hell I think I am. I think I've done one cooking video in my entire life. I'm not bringing back the cooking series. Maybe I'm starting one right now. Who knows? But I absolutely cannot cook. I actually might be the worst cook of all time. But I feel like because I'm a homeowner now, by the way as well, I'm really weird to say I'm cooking in my kitchen. Like this is literally my kitchen. Can't get my head around it. I'm so excited. So if you haven't been following the vlogs, I've moved house. Um, I've got my own house now, which is pretty cool. Most people in lockdown actually like learn a new skill. Well, I actually have not learned a single skill. And I figured because I'm now a homeowner, when we're eventually allowed to have guests again, I would actually quite like to cook for them. It's quite like a cool thing to be able to do, not just be able to make beans on toast. So today I'm, I'm going to learn that new skill. That's like the goal also as well can we just take a minute for the apron i mean i am this is definitely gonna go to my head this apron i've got an apron that says my own name on it how flipping cool is that and i actually got sent it so i don't even feel like it's vain and i bought it myself i'm so excited i have my own apron now i really feel like i'm a great cook even though it does actually say baking with saffron and i'm not baking but let's just ignore that part so today i should really actually tell you what i'm making now i've been dragging this out for like two minutes today i'm gonna be making Gigi hadid's very famous vodka pasta i think i need to burp no, oh, sorry. That was really rude. At least I got it over and done before we actually started cooking. So yesterday, I went to Tesco's. I picked up some shell pasta, tomato puree, parmesan, and you might just be thinking this is like normal ingredients. Oh no, we got the vodka. We got, we got spenny vodka as well. We got the expensive type. I mean, this is just left over. Oh my God, we dropped it. This is just left over in our house, so. I didn't have my ideal me, so um, yeah, this is what we got. But to be honest, I kind of feel like this is all we're gonna need. Don't really feel like we're gonna be pouring the whole bottle in there. Basically, here goes nothing. I actually really hope it's nice, but like vodka in pasta just sounds so weird to me. I'm like, how can that be nice? But then at the same time, when I was thinking about it, we put red wine in gravy and that's normal, right? And that tastes nice. So then I'm like, okay, so vodka pasta has to be nice because red wine and gravy is nice. If you get what I mean, you probably not. But anyways, without further ado, let's actually start cooking. I just need to address something for my own, my own self, my own sanity. Um, my hair, it just, it wasn't a hair day. It looks like I've actually got a family of five hidden in this button. And the apron's just not sitting too flattering with the jumper, but again, who cares? Well, me, because that's why I'm addressing it. But any, anyways, right, let's actually get on with this. So there's like a million TikToks on this, but I think all of them are like slightly different. Oh, I do want to add, it's like meant to be really spicy, but like I can't even handle pop country can at KFC. So how no am I adding red pepper flakes? That's just not gonna happen. But aside from that, I'm gonna stick to the recipe. Right, so let's watch this. Oh, I forgot to add actually, everything's like in American sizes. And I actually don't think, I don't actually think I like to have cups or things because, well, first of all, I'm not American. And second of all, like I've just moved house. I've just about got knife and forks. So, <laughs> um, right. How am I gonna do this then? Let me check. Yeah, I kind of feel like I already know the answer. Yeah, okay, we don't have cups, but I think I can work it out. I'm just gonna have to, I'm just gonna have to work it out. I really should have thought about this because I actually don't even know what I'm gonna put stuff in. Oh, should I put it straight in the saucepan? Oh, already stressed. Oh my God, I don't have something. Oh, wait, let me check. Guys. False alarm, I thought I didn't buy double cream, but I did, and I think my mum put it away. See, how am I actually gonna manage when my mum was in here? If my mum wasn't here, I wouldn't have put their double cream in the fridge, which means it would have been off before I even started this video. So, how I'm actually gonna cope in alone, I have no idea. Okay, so we need a quarter cup of olive oil, which we have, quarter cup, which is 32 grams. Let me check. Okay, 32 grams. Oh, sugar, I've gone way over. How did that actually happen? It went from like 20 to 40. Like, this is not good. Oh, I don't like wasting stuff. Oh, this has actually worked quite well. Look at that, 134 now. So usually I just rough measure, but I've kind of realized that that gets me nowhere in life. So I'm actually gonna try and do it properly. Right, it's 32, that's fine. Oh, that, yeah, 32. Right. 
oil's done. Then we need to measure, well, we need to measure everything, don't we? Right, so garlic diced in the fridge, got that done. Quarter cup tomato paste. Should I get a big bowl? Yeah. Okay, so genuine question, if you live alone, did you suddenly become better at cooking or is your cooking skill still the same? Because I'm really hoping that I can actually learn to cook. The thing is, I've never really been that bothered before, but now I've got my own house, I really would quite like to cook. I mean, really, all I'm actually bothered about cooking good is a good roast because I feel like that's probably the only time people are actually gonna allow me to cook for them. My family know I'm so tragic. I think they'll probably avoid it at all costs. Over again. How have I done that? It's because I'm just like doing it too far. No. I mean that's 34 that would do. To be honest, I actually like it really tomato y so that surely that's not right. Surely that's all the tomato. When I make pasta, I literally think I use a whole thing of tomato purees, but maybe each to their own. Right, here we go. 64, baby. Just already does it. 65, it will do. Everything's slightly gone over, so that's fine. Okay, right, so most of the ingredients are done. Now, I just need to measure the pasta. Oh, crap. I haven't got enough pasta. Oh, yeah. Oh, it has, don't worry. Because it said 170 grams cooked pasta for some reason, because I couldn't see the actual, I thought the whole thing was 170. It's fine, it's 500. Hear me out, different pasta shapes taste so different. Like, for me, the best pasta shape probably actually is the shell, which I don't normally ever have. I'm not just buying like the, I don't know what they're called. Is it just penne pasta? I think so. I don't know, but it's like the straight ones, and that to me is just like quite boring. Not really my favorite pasta. This is my favorite, I think. Oh my God, I get to buy my own pasta now. Quick thought. I can have this pasta as much as I want. Three second roll. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I haven't had pasta in so long. Right, I say it's the best thing ever, but your parents put stuff away for you, but at the same time, no flipping idea where the onions are. And we don't actually have butter, and I didn't get some, because we don't really use butter. Just got these little sample ones, so it should be fine. Okay, I think we're pretty much done. I'm just gonna get started. So, everyone. In a large saucepan, heat the olive oil, garlic and onion. Oh my God, I don't know where the garlic is and don't know where the onion is, so that's fun. I tell you what, I hope when I eat this pasta, I get a body like Gigi, because for some reason when I... Oh my God, it didn't, oh it did smash. No, it didn't smash, woo. Yeah, for some reason when I eat pasta, my body just doesn't quite look like Gigi Hadid's. But that's fine, you know. <laughs> oh my God, Darren. Where have you put the stuff down? Da, 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 da. If my family want to hide food, they do a great job of it. Sorry. Um, where did you put the onion? Like the chopped onion? In the fridge, I think. Well, we've like had the fridge inside out and we can't seem to find it. Oh, she's the onion. She's the onion. We've been looking for these for like 20 minutes. Come on, Dad. Give me, we found the onion, Dad. We got the onion. We, we got, got the onions. onions, we got the onions. Okay. Onions. Yeah. Onions. Oh my god, Dad, I'm gonna miss you. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> we right. got the onions. Okay. Okay. We got the onions. Bloody hell, I wish we didn't find the onions. See ya. <laughs> Don't wanna be. Oh Dad, that's a quick question. If I've got to heat the oil up, yes. like just put it on the saucepan. No, put, put it, it in the, the sauce, put, put it, put it, it on, the the stove. on the stove. Yeah. Yes. I actually don't know how to work this though. But the oil oh. has to be hot before you put the onion in. What? You heat the oil up before you put the onion in. You yeah, don't but this just goes in now like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of oil, isn't it? Dad, this is going to be the best thing ever. This is Borja Casasta. Right, so the oil is heating. Now we need we need the onion, which is why I've been looking for the onion for like 25 bloody minutes. How much onion do we need? Right, so it actually says a quarter of a green onion, but a green onion doesn't even exist. So... Oh, how am I supposed to know what a quarter is as well? Just guess. Because, I mean, this is just... Oh, God. Oh, so I'm gonna have to go ask my dad, but what am I gonna do if my dad's not here? Dad? 
Hey, Zane, come here a sec. You got the onions. <laughs> uh, do you reckon that's a quarter of an onion? No. What, more or less? That's way less. Way less of a quarter of an onion? Yeah. Really? <laughs> oh. oh my God. So, what, probably I? that tip to the rim is a whole onion. Well, I've over, I've, I've, it's halfway full now. So that's half, so I was right. So that's, no, that's really about, down to that's, a, that's about a quarter. You reckon that's better? Not, even, very not even a quarter. I'll put, put that plus a little bit more. You think you're not cheating? I like my Dad, Hadid, though, are you? Darren, you're not Gigi Hadid though, are you? You are. Exactly. I am. <laughs> Even better. Oil is cooking. I actually think I put it too high though. I've actually burnt the oil, if that's even possible. Now we need to put in garlic and honestly onion count at this point. How many times do you reckon I've said it in this video? baby yeah boy i actually feel like this is going to taste unreal although i do seem to think that every time i cook oh my god oh my god it's flashed on my nose and it actually just burns oh my god that actually really hurt cook until soft add tomato paste and cook until it appears darker in color a bit caramelized the thing is is it's not even that I don't enjoy it. It's just it's so time consuming And I just feel like in every day to day life. I do not have time for this Like do you realize how long it's taken me just to get this far? Add the heavy cream add in the vodka cook until evaporated When am I cooking the pasta? This is when I'm so confused. It's really meant to cook the pasta first I feel like I've done this backwards, but it's telling me do this first. This is why I don't stick to recipes because that just doesn't make sense to me. The pasta's got to go in so much longer than the sauce. Okay, cook pasta separately, but that's meant to, that's like four steps down the line. I think I'm gonna start cooking the pasta now because that's just not really making sense to me. And I did, oh no. Oh God, right. I was hoping I could shut it and ignore that. Right, um, I think I've broken the drawer. Um, okay, right. On that note, fully aware not supposed to be doing this, but I will be cooking the pasta because it doesn't really make sense to me as to why I'd cook the pasta after. Just weird. This is like, it's sizzling. Oh my God, you need to see this, right. So this is what it's looking like. I mean, that actually, if you could smell right now, smell a vision, it smells absolutely incredible. And obviously at this point, this is when she adds in the chili flakes, but I don't want to do that because I um, don't like chili, clearly. So this is what it's looking like. I just need to add in vodka now. Okay, so now's the time we add in vodka and we add in double cream. Never have I ever put in double cream in pasta before. This is probably why pasta tastes so good when you get it in a restaurant, like they definitely use cream. Why have I never thought of to do this before? The cream is going in. Soak it up. <laughs> it smells incredible and it literally looks like lasagna sauce. Mum's here at the most perfect point. She gets home as they're about to put the vodka in and there's literally two shot glasses in oh, front of me. Oh, so, <laughs> Mum, I'm making vodka pasta. I'm going to get drunk anyways. Oh, vodka pasta. <laughs> it's the middle of the day. Come on. No. Uh, right, Mum, I'm filling these up, okay? Is that fine? Finish this for the weekend. <laughs> oh my no, God. no, you've got less than me. You've got less than me. We all need a big one. I actually, I don't even know why I'm doing this myself. I actually have no idea. Yeah, as no, I'm cheers. Cheers. Oh, I'm moving, moving. <laughs> oh, God, I've done a book for years, let alone me. Oh my God. You know what? I actually I do drunk. normally like straight vodka, but I've not had it in ages. Dad and I drank a two litre bottle of that when I was about 18 oh. years old. And I swear, I don't think I've ever drunk it since. And that. <laughs> It's just a mask of white. It doesn't me white. Oh, to be fair, like, actually, what's my favourite? Yeah, I thought it was burning, you know. Oh my god, it actually burns. You can't leave it on that long because it's a cream. But the thing, oh, wow. It's not funny now. Oh, oh my god, have I ruined it all? You can put it on low. Have I ruined it all? Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? You're not meant to tell me, yeah? Right, here goes nothing. Tell me when to stop, I don't okay? know if you should be putting grey goose in this. I know, that's what I said. It's cheap vodka. Bloody expensive, isn't it? Is that it? Yeah, I just got to do a tablespoon. Oh, come on. Let's be, don't be stingy. No, no, because I think it would taste disgusting on the Don't be stingy that was with more the than, That was more than a tablespoon. It wasn't? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. A hundred percent. Mum, I think it's going to, I think I'm going to get drunk off it otherwise. You're going to eat the whole lot. You're not going to get drunk off one shot. Hey. Okay, there you go. That's, see, that's oh. literally two tablespoons now. So when I'm drunk earlier, she 
blame. Earlier? When you're Later. Earlier. Later. I think you already are. That doesn't you? look right, does it? No. It's, it's overcooked lumpy. cream, I think. You've got oh. a bit of practice to the go. The cream you hasn't need, been on for that long. You need to practice a bit more. Right, so I'm just waiting for the pasta to cook. I really feel like I should have actually watched the video before I started doing this because I was so right and the pasta definitely does need to go on first because pasta takes 10 times longer and I've definitely burnt the sauce, um, but it's fine. I think it's actually still gonna taste really good. It also really, it smells really delicious, but it also really does smell like vodka. I feel like I put way too much, but you know, the peer pressure of your mum, most people probably have the opposite, right? Mum's like, drink, drink, drink. I have been honestly, I haven't drank in, I I don't even know how long. I, I feel like I actually could get drunk off that pasta. I just need to wait for the pasta to cook and then I need to add butter to the pasta, then add the sauce, add the parmesan, and we're basically there. Honestly, love how we make things work on this channel because you're now currently balancing on a toaster. But I'm gonna add the sauce. It does look delicious. It just does look slightly overcooked, but you know what? Look at that, you see in this? It does look so good though. Right, there's that. Let's mix it together. Oh my God, this smells, this actually smells ridiculous. I literally can tell that this is gonna be my favorite thing ever, which probably means that me and Gigi should be best friends. So now I think I just let the butter melt. I'm gonna turn the hob up and let this drizzle in. I mean, butter and everything. I mean, butter just makes everything taste nicer, so. Oh my God, can you hear it? Please tell me you can hear it. It's sizzling away. Woohoo! Right, we're literally on to the final step. So this has gone better than I actually expected it to. So now it's time to serve it up. I do actually, I would rather put my pasta on like a pasta bowl. Pasta bowl? Yeah, like, a, you know, like a pasta dish. But um, slight problem, don't actually have any yet because I wanted to, well, I know I've bought nice new plates, but I actually haven't used these plates yet. I'm only using it for the sake of this video because normally, well, I'm just using like my parents' old stuff. I don't want to start using all my new stuff yet until I've actually done my house because then everything will feel fresh and new. So that's basically why. Looks like I put no pasta on this plate, but because it's flipping huge. And then, mwah, woo! Oh, she is a chef. What is it? Is it like they hold it like really far away and they're like this? Gordon Ramsay, eat your heart out. Right, so this here is the finished result. And I mean, it looks better than I was expecting. So let's just see what it tastes like. Like I said earlier, I don't actually have any tables to eat on. We've literally been having to eat our dinner on the sofa, which is something I hate. I feel like I should take this apron off now. I've enjoyed it. It's time was fun, but now, but now I'm not the chef. Now I'm Gigi ordering my pasta. I'm actually quite nervous. It goes nothing, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is the best, that is one of the best things I've ever. That was one of the best things I've ever eaten. Oh my god, it's insane. That is absolutely incredible. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is so good. Oh my goodness, I wish you could try this. One of the best things I've ever eaten. Genuinely. Like, if I ordered that, I don't even... This whole time, I've been saying to my mum, I actually need loads of work. Once you're gone, don't know what I'm going to do. That is absolutely banging. And it's probably because kind of semi followed the recipe. Didn't like put my own twist on it, which is what I tend to do quite a lot. I kind of follow the recipe anyways. That is insane well everyone i actually think i did a pretty bloody good job i'm so excited for my family to try this it's insane i'm gonna go sit myself on the sofa now and eat this even though i absolutely hate sitting on the sofa and eating my dinner but there you go it's delicious i mean if you if you could try this i wish you could please try this like if you like cooking make this because it's insane and i just want to know like does the majority of people actually enjoy cooking because i mean i actually quite enjoyed it today but it's just it's such a chore like it's just such an effort but when it tastes just good maybe if you're good at cooking oh tastes some vodka there maybe when you're good at cooking it's more enjoyable because i love the process because it turned out good so maybe that's why anyways on that note um i actually really want to go and eat this so i'm going to end this vlog here let me know if there's any other celebrity recipes that you think i should try please let me know down in the comments and i shall see you all soon okay bye <laughs> Are you ready? Ready.
Hi everyone, I'm Saffron. And I'm Wendy. And welcome to our brand new podcast of Mum Ma- Made Me. Just going to say oh, it with right. you. Okay. One, two, three. Mum Ma- Ma- Made Me, me Do It. it. <laughs>